Through art and education, Color Her Story is seeking to highlight and celebrate influential black, brown, and indigenous women of color. Here to tell us more about her mission and inspiration behind her thoughtful coloring books is creator and founder of Color Her Story, Simone Hufana. Simone, thanks for joining us here at Live in the Bay. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Yes, uh, when I came across your coloring books, I just thought, this is amazing. And so I'd love to hear the background on kind of how you got started with this. So my coloring books were, were born out of almost like a responsibility I felt. Um, so I'm, an eldest, I'm the eldest sister of uh, my two younger sisters. And in my journey of just like self-love and um, discovering myself in my teenage years, I was hitting a point where I was like, who, I look at the media, I look at my history books, I'm at school and I'm not learning about anybody that really looks like me or influences me or has like true impact on me that I could identify with. Yeah. And um, it wasn't until there was people in my community educating me on amazing black, brown women of color that were doing like such critical work in our communities, not only in Oakland where I'm from, but even beyond, um, I'm around the world, right? But they weren't captured in the media. Yeah. They weren't captured in, um, in movies and books and coloring books. Um, um, in my history books, like I mentioned, and so I felt a responsibility to kind of create that bridge. Yeah, and I would We're, spend a go I'll, ahead. Go I ahead. spent a lot of time um, with my youngest sister at that time. I think she was around like three to five years old, um, and she would color in a lot of coloring books. And you know, I would color with her. We would, you know, play a lot. And so I would jot down in my. I would keep my journal with me all the time. And I knew at one point I wanted to be my own boss and I wanted to create something that made an impact, but I didn't know what that looked like. And I knew for me, it, I felt a deep passion and a deep responsibility to create that bridge, not only for myself, but for my younger sisters and, and young brown and black women alike. And so the birth of Color Her Story is really like a love letter to my younger self and to my younger sisters. And so was it your younger sisters that sparked the idea of turning these influential women into a coloring book when you were spending time coloring with them? Yeah, essentially. So I was like, well, what can I do? Like, I don't know if anybody will even be into a coloring book like that. Like, it's just a coloring book. So when I created the idea, I was with my sisters initially, and it was just an idea in my journal. And I just started building on it and building on it. And at the time, I was in um, an entrepreneurship class in my high school. Mm -hmm. And their whole thing was, you know, like, what's a problem that you want to solve in your community? And I'm like, damn, well, I'm not sure. Like, there's, there's these big societal issues that are, like, big machines that I can go up against, but, like, what will a coloring book be in comparison to that. Yeah. And um, I wasn't, I didn't have much inspiration on the idea at first just because I was like, who's, who's gonna care for a coloring book? And then it was really like um, my mentors, my elders, my parents that were pouring that affirmation and love into my ideas and to things that I wanted to create. Um, and so that's when it finally came into fruition. What has this coloring book taught you? Since you've you know, unleashed these, what have you seen? And what's been the response from the community? And what's a lesson that maybe you've learned? Mm. The response has been so deeply beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's nothing that I expected either. I created this book when I was 17 years old in high school. And so I was worrying about other things, right? Like I was worrying about going to dances and football <laughs> games and I was like wrestling in high school. And so I was worried about other stuff and um, I didn't realize the impact that it would create on, on not only like young women alike, but even like more mature folks too. And, and people open my books and they're like, wow, I never even knew about this person doing this kind of work in the community and in the world. And so the impact has been super beautiful. Um, yeah. 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 I, like I said, I was, you, 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 to say it simply, you know, a coloring book. But when I first saw this immediately, I was like, wow, this is so impactful. And I, mm. I couldn't wait to have you on the show. So I'm so happy you're here and we're doing this. Yeah, um, right. But what is, take me through the creative process in, in putting your books together. Uh, what goes into selecting who's gonna be featured and you know getting the whole book together? I do a lot of research with just word of mouth. Um, I talk to people in my community. Um, I talk to my homegirls, I talk to my family, I talk to my peers, my colleagues, and I just simply ask them, like, who would you want to see? It, they don't have to have some big platform either, right? It can be just like a local organizer in the community or somebody that made impact in your life. And so I have this like big running, ongoing list that I have, and I'm always writing down names. Um, not only that, but also social media, right? Like just continually learning about these people that are doing amazing things and that have great influence on folks. 
Um, and then just making sure that I'm diversifying the list, right? And yeah. so just a ton of research through talking to my folks and, and just asking a bunch of questions. Talking to younger people too is like super critical to this work. Talking to, you know, even folks younger than me, like who would you like to see? Who's inspired you? Who's impacted you? Yeah. And even if it's just like, you know, somebody that like runs a store down the street, like, hey, you know, they carry this community too. Like they deserve to be um, highlighted and like be in a book as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. who's, I have to ask now, who's someone that has truly inspired you that you immediately thought this person is in the book? Uh, the first person that comes to mind is honestly Audre Lorde. Um, a lot of this work, a lot of the heart of my work, I, I have to pay respects to, to black women, black artists, scholars, educators, activists. I mean, um, they birthed a lot of this work, right? And so I think of Audre Lorde and the pieces that she's written that, that really resonated with me when um, I was trying to understand the world and I was trying to understand myself. And I had, you know, a lot of like big feelings that I didn't understand. And so when I read pieces uh, that she's written and um, identify with a lot of her work and um, she's made a great impact on me. And there was kind of like that frustration too, like why aren't they teaching me about her in school? Why did I have to dig for her? Um, why, w why wasn't her work just accessible? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I think of her for sure. Well, that's, that's awesome. And it's great that, you know, you can add her to this book along with many other inspirational women. And then that information is out there and you're educating. Yeah. And I know that that's one of your goals to educate with these books. So what is something that you want to take away from, you want people to take away from these books? If, if you could just leave us with, you know, a last word on what you hope these books really do for the community. I truly hope that my books do bring some kind of influence or inspiration, um, similar to why I created it, right? But also it's like, take what you need. To, and that can look like anything for anyone. It can look like just an afternoon of coloring and decompressing, or it can look like a deeper dive into, you know, these different women that are making impact in our communities. Um, but I truly hope that it brings some kind of inspiration, some kind of education, and essentially to feel liberated to an extent. Um, I always talk about my work with Color Her Story as liberation work, because that's the heart of it. Um, and so I hope to leave that impact with my work. I know that it will, absolutely. So Simone, I just want to thank you so much for joining us here and sharing about Color Her Story with us. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much for having me.